Patris et filiat spiritui sancti, in tuibortari dei. Judica me Deus in de cerne casa meum de gente non sancta, ab homini iniquo et doloser ere me. Imiti lucem tuum et virtutum tuum. Ipsa me de dexrunt et a dexrunt in montum sanctum tuum et in tabernacula tua. Confi tabor tibi in chithra deus deus meus quare tristes es. Anima me et corae contribuas me. Gloria Patriot Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Intro Ibatari Dehi. Agitorem nostrum in nomini domini. Confitir Deo Nipotente Beati Maria Semper Vergine Beato Michale Archangelo. Beatioani Baptisti Sanctis, the Pastris Petro et Paolo, Omnibus Sanctis et Vovis Fratres, quia peccavi nibus cogitatione verbo et opere, mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa, idio precor Beatum Mariam Semper Virginum, Beatum Icalium Archangelum, Beatum Johannum Baptistum Sanctus, the Pastris Petro et Paolo, Omni Sanctus, et vos fratres, orare pro me a Dominium Deum Nostrum. Amen. Miseria tra vestri onipotens Deus, et de missus peccatis vestris, purdicat vos ad vitam eternam, indulgentium absolutionum et remissionum peccatorum nostorum, tribuat nobis onipotens et misericors dominus. Deus tu conversus vivificas nos, ostende nobis domini misericordium tuum, Domini exaudio rationem meum. Dominus vobiscum. Oremus. Dixit Dominus ergo cogito cogitationis pacis, et non afflictionis invocabitis me, et ego exaudium vos, 
et redu cam captivitatem vestrum de cunctis locis, benedixis di domini tedarum tuum, ad veristi capitatem Jacob, gloria patri et filio et spiritui sancto, sicur erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum, amen. Dicet Dominus, ego cogito cogitationis pacis, et non afflicionis invocabitis me, et ego exaudium vos, et radicum captitatem vestrum, de cunctis locis. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie
Tolis Pekana Mundi Sushi Pek De Pekatsione Nostra Qui Sed Ex Ad Ex Terem Patris Misere De Nobis Quoniam Tu Solus Sanctus Solus Dominus, to Solus Altissimus, Jesu Christe. Dominus Fobiscum. Oremus. Onipotens sempiterne Deus, in fermitatem, nostrum propitius respice, adque ad protegendum, nos dexterum tua majestatis extende, Per Domium Nostrum, Jesum Christum, Filium Tuum, qui tecum vivet et regnat in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia saecula saeculorum. Amen. Lexio Epistoli Beate Pauli Apostoli Ad Romanus, Fratres, noli te esse, prudentis apud vos mentipsos, Nuli malum pro malo, redentis providentis bona non tantum, coram Deo. Sed itium coram omnibus hominibus, si fueri potes quod ex vobis est, cum omnibus hominibus pacem habentis, non vomentipsos defendentis, Carissimi sed date locum ire, scriptum est enum, mihi vendicta ego, retribuum dicet dominus, sed si esurerit inimicus tuus, ciba ilum, si sitit potum da ili, Hoc enum faciens carbonis ignis, co gracus seper caput eus, noli vinci a malo, sed vinci en bono malum. Deo gratias. Dominus Vobiscum, Sequentia Sancta Evangelia Secunda Meteum, Gloria Tibi Domine. In illo tempore, cum dicensiat Jesus de Monte, se cute sunt eum turbe multe, et ece leprosus, Veniens adorabat eum dicens. Domine, sit vis 
potes me mundare, et extendis Jesu manum te git eum dicens valo. Mandare ut confestum mundata es lepra eius, et aid ili Jesus vide nemini dexris sed vade ostende te cederto sacerdote et aufermanus quod precipit Moises in testimonium ilus cum autum introducit cafernum acessit ad eum centerio rogans eum et dicens domine puer meus jacet in domo Parliticus et male tor quentur, et eit ili Jesus, ego venium, et curarbor eum, et respondens sincerio eit, dominum sum dignus, ud in tectum meum, sed tantum dig verbo, et senabitor puer meus, Non et ego homo sum sub potestate constitutus habiens sub me milites. Et digo hic, vade et vadet, et ei veni et venit, et servo meo fac host et facit. Audiens autum Jesus, Meratus est in sequencibus et dixit. Amen, dico vobis, non in veni tantum fide in Israel. Dico autum vobis, quod multi ab oriente et accedente venient et recumbent cum Abraham et Isaac et Jacob et regno celorum Filii autem regne, igi cientur et tenebres exteriores ibi erit, flatus et, et stradior dentum, et dixit Jesus centurioi, vadi et suci crediisti fiatibi, et sanctas et puer in ila hora. Here are the readings for this Sunday. A reading from the epistle of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, we cease not to pray for you and to beg that you may be filled with the knowledge of the will of God in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you may walk worthy of God in all things pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might according to the power of his will, in all patience and long-suffering with joy, giving thanks to God, the Father who hath made us worthy to be partakers of the lot of the saints in light, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of the Son of the love, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the remission of sins. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, When you see the abomination of desolation, which was spoken of by Daniel, the prophet standing in the holy place, he that readeth, let him understand, then they are in Judea. Let them flee to the mountains, and he that is on the housetops, let him not come down to take anything out of the house. And he that is in the field, let him not go back to take his coat. And woe to them that are with child, and give suck in those days. But pray that you flight be not in the winter or on the Sabbath, for there shall then be great tribulation, such as hath not been found from the beginning of the world until now, neither shall be unless those days had been shortened, no flesh should be saved, but for the sake of the elect, those days shall be shortened. Then in any man shall say to you, Lo, here is the Christ, and there do not believe him, for there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders inasmuch as, to deceive if possible, even the elect. Behold, I have told you this beforehand. If there before there shall be in you, behold, he is in the desert. Go ye not out. Behold, he is in the closets. Believe it not. For as lightning cometh out from the east and approaches even into the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Wheresoever the body shall be, there shall the eagles also be gathered together. And immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall be given light no more, and the stars shall fall from the heavens and the powers of the heaven shall be moved. And then shall appear a sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in on the clouds of heaven with much power and majesty. And he shall send his angels with a trumpet and a great voice, and they shall all be gathered together, his elect from the four winds from the farthest parts of the heavens to the utmost bounds of them. And from the fig tree learn a parable. When the branch thereof is now tender, and the leaves come forth, you know that summer is nigh. So you also, when you shall see all these things, know ye that is nigh even at the doors. Amen, I say to you, that in this generation shall not pass till all these things be done. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Thus ends the readings. Please be seated for a moment. These are the announcements for this weekend. Is that following Holy Mass today, there will be a rosary for all of our deceased, and you're welcome to stay following the Tridentine Mass. Our parish offices are closed this Thursday and Friday for Thanksgiving. And as you probably know or don't know is that we have been given a great donation and it's finally been installed and on the back of the choir loft there is a camera and one of the things is that our mass is being recorded um, on Facebook now and this was a donation that was given so that we can actually uh, have the mass seen on Facebook and so I want to thank the Knights of Columbus and also Michael Kurtz who gave this donation it was about a $10,000 project and if children and parents or people who are sick or ill you can even watch the mass in the Mother Teresa Hall and so we give thanks to God for that beautiful gift in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen praise be Jesus Christ now and forever Amen. Today I have to admit I was trying to prepare for Mass. Then I got a great one of these and I looked and set up and I read the readings from one Sunday 
and I read the readings from another Sunday, so if I can tell you this, all of these readings fit together <laughs> because they all speak about the time that we're in, a preparation for Advent. And that's why I wear purple vestments today. And that preparation is to remind us that God has made a promise to each and every one of us that God said, I will not abandon you. And he said, my kingdom is not of this world, but my kingdom is of the world to come. And as these readings that I read to you in English, they really speak to us very clearly about a preparation for the end of the world. We know that the end of the world comes in two ways, either by our death or, secondly, when Jesus made a promise that he will come at the end of the world. Either of those, God, please, that we're prepared. And I think it's very important that as we hear these readings, that we also think about our own preparations that we have made in death. Because of the COVID-19, we've had, last week we had three deaths, and this week we have three deaths, and all six of them had to deal with COVID-19. And one of the things that has made me really think about why the scourge is really on the world, because I look forward to the end of it, and I think most of us are praying for the end of the scourge of COVID-19. I often think about as I pray the rosary, and I have this underneath the Blessed Mother altar, all of those who have died. And I think about them, were all of them prepared? And for myself, I think of that every day when I pray, and I think that it's healthy for us to think every day, at least for a moment, if God took me today, would I be prepared? And I think it's something very important for every one of us to meditate on. I visited a man this week who is a very devout Catholic man. He's come to the Tridentine Mass, but is unable to come out. And he's dying. And he's only in his young 70s. I think he's 71 years old. And one of the things that he sat down and he said, Father, I don't know how long I have, but I need to prepare for the, my funeral. And I think it's very important that we have our funeral preparations prepared. One of the things that I've noticed, and I've shared this last week, is that the funerals that I have, and we've had many funerals this last year at St. Joseph's here in Devil's Lake, what I see with the next generation that's about that age group between 14 to 18 is there is no practice of the faith. They can hardly make it through the Our Father in English, and we pray it here in Latin. They can hardly make it through in English. They don't know the prayers. They don't know how to even be in a church anymore and they talk and one of the things that I have encouraged people to do and I think it's very important for us to think about is to make your thoughts known to your children how you do indeed want to be buried because what I get from as I have said from my side of the pew people come in and they'll say father we want none of the Catholic stuff because all of us children aren't practicing. Our mother or father, they were very devout, but we're not practicing. So we don't want to make anyone, and this is the word they use, and it stabs me to the heart. I'm uncomfortable, and we don't want to make anyone else uncomfortable. <laughs> Our blessed Lord does not want us to be comfortable in this world. Let me tell you all. We should all have a little bit of uncomfortable, uncomfortable ability. I didn't get the word out, but we should all have a little bit of uneasiness in this world because this world is not meant for us to be in forever. So have 
your thoughts known. Second thing is that so many people are cremated. And I would say that now in my priesthood, I probably think it's half and half. And it's even bridging cremation over half. And what they do is they don't bury the cremains. They take them home as like some little nice little thing to set up on the shelf. But it's a coffin. None of us would ever take our loved one's coffin and put it into our home and put a glass over it and say, it's a coffee table now. It's a coffin. We wouldn't put a coffin in our home. It's meant for burial. The same way it is for cremains. About five years ago, I ran into a person and they said that they were cleaning out their aunt's home. And in their aunt's home, they said they came into a closet and they came upon five boxes of cremains of their old uncles and aunts who passed away and their aunt kept them and wouldn't bury them. They said, what are we supposed to do with them? I said, very simple. They should be buried. Thirdly and lastly, I want us to really pray that we would be able to receive the last rites of the church. And I'm going to tell you, if you pray for it, God will promise and give it to you. Because God does indeed hear our prayers. To say, Lord, I do not want to die without the last sacraments. I want to have confession. I want to receive the apostolic blessing. And I want to receive Holy Communion. That is one of the things that I ask you in this month of November to pray for. And if you pray for it, God indeed will always fulfill his promises. Very simply, and I just close with this. Oftentimes we will read in someone's obituary and it'll say, they were very faithful or they were a faithful Catholic or faith was important to them. And the question I always ask is that in their life, could you see them pursue the faith and to run after Jesus and to know Jesus with their whole heart, mind, and soul? That is the faith that we should have, to pursue, to know, to love Jesus with our whole heart, mind, and our soul, and our desire one day to be with him. So... Live life with Christ, and we will live it to the full. We will have joys, and we're going to have sorrows, and those sorrows, God will be with us. He doesn't abandon his people. And we hear these beautiful words as they conclude in St. Matthew's Gospel, and I conclude with them today. Amen, I say to you, this generation shall not pass to all these things have been done. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Patrimonipotentem factorum celia terra, 
visibilium omnium et invisibilium, et in unum dominum Jesum Christum filium Dei unigenitum, et ex patrinantum ante omnia secula, Deo, Deum de Deo, Lumen de Lumine, Deum vero, de Deo vero, Genitum non factum, consubstantialum patri, per quam omnia facta sunt, qui propter nos homines, et propter nostrum salitem dicendit de celis, ed incarnatus es de Spiritu Sancto ex Maria Vergini, ed homo factus es, crucifixus itium pronobis su Pontio Pilato passus, et sepultus est, et resurrexit teritia Dei secundum scripturas, et accendit in celum cedit ad exterum patris, et iterum venturis es cum gloria judicare vivus et mortuos, cuius regninan erit finis, et in spiritum sanctum dominum et vivificantum, qui ex patri filioque procedit qui cum patri, et filio simu adoratur, et con glorificator qui locutus es per profetas, et unum sanctum catholicum, et apostolicum ecclesium, confiter unum baptisma in remissionum peccatorum, et expecto resurrectionum mortorum, et vitam venturi seculi. Amen. Dominus Phobiscum, Oremus.
Orate fratres. Per omnia saecula saeculorum. Amen. Dominus vobiscum. Susum corda a. Gratias agimus domino Deo nostro. Vere dignum et justum es, ecom et salutar nos tibi semper, Ed ubi que gratias agere Domini Sancti Patronipotens Eterne Deus, qui cum unigentio filio tuo, et Spiritu Sancto unus et Deus unus et Dominus, non in unus singularitate personae, sed in unius trinitate substantiae, quod enum tu de tua gloria revelante te credimus, Hoc Deo Filio Tuo, hoc de Spiritu Sancto, sine differenti de creationis sensimus, ud in confessione veri, sempiterne que deitas, ed in personis proprietas, ed in essence unies, ed in maestate adoretur equalitas. Quam laudent angeli adque archangeli, cherubim quoque ac seraphim, qui non cessent clamare, quotidie una voce dicentis. Sanctus, 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 Domus Deus, Plenis Uncedia Terra.
Oremus precepti salutaribus moniti, et divina institutione formate, audemus dicere. Pater noster quies in celi sanctificeter nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua sicut in celo in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et demiti nobis debita nostra sicut nos demitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libra nos amalo. Per omnia saecula saeculorum. Amen. Pax Domine sit semper vobiscum, et cum spiritu tuo. Domini nuncem dignus, ut in tres subtectum meum, sententum de verbuts in abitur anima mea. Domini nuncem dignus, ut in tres subtectum meum, sententum de verbuts in abitur anima mea. Domini nuncem dignus, ut in tres subtectum meum, sententum de verbo, et in abitur anima mea. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi custodiet anima meum, in vitam eternam. Amen.
sanguinis domini nostri, Jesu Christi custodiat anima meum, in vitam eternum. Amen. Mesurator vestri onipotens Deus, et demissus peccatis vestris, perugad vos ad vitam eternam. Indulgentiam absolutionum et remissionum peccatorum, vestorum trivat vobis onipotens et misericords dominus. Ece anus Dei, ece qui tolit peccata mundi, Domini nun sum dignus, ut in tres subtecta meum, sed tantum dig verbo sanabitur anima mea, Domini nun sum dignus, ut in tres subtecta meum, sed tantum dig verbo sanabitur anima mea, Domini nun sum dignus, ut in tres subtecta meum, sed tantum dig verbo sanabitur anima mea, Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi custodiat anima meum in vitam eternum. Amen. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi custodiat anima meum in vitam eternum. Amen.
Mendicobobis, quod quod orantes paetis, crediteque accipientes et fiat bobis. Dominus Fobiscum. Oremus. Quos tantis Domine, largiris uti misteris, que sumus, ad affectionibus nos eorum veri citer, aptare digneris per Dominum nostrum, Jesum Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vivat et regnat in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia saecula saeculorum. Dominus Fobiscum, ita misa est, Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctis. Amen. Dominus Vobiscum, Initium Sancti Evangelia Secundum Johannum, Gloria Tibi Domine. In principio erat verbum, et verbum erat put Deum, et Deus erat verbum, hoc erat in principio apud Deum, omnia per ipsum facta sunt, et sine ipso factum est nihil, quod factum est, in ipso vita erat, et vita erat lux hominum, et lux in tenebris lucet, et tenebre eum non comprehenderunt, fuit homo misus adeu, qui nomen erat Johannis, hic venit, en testimonium, ut testimonium prehibrit de lumine ut omnis crederunt per ilum. Non erat ili lux, sed ut testimonium prehibrit de lumine, erat lux vere, qui illuminant hominem, hominem venientem in hunc mundum. In mundo erat, et mundus per ipsum factus est, et mundus eum non cognivit, en propria venit, et sui eum non receperunt, quod quod autum receperunt eum, didet eius potestatum filius dei feri, his qui credunt en nomine eius, qui non ex sanguinibus neque ex voluntate carnes, neque ex voluntate vir, sed ex deo nante sunt, et verbum caro factum est, et habitavit in nobis, et vedemus glorium eius, glorium quasi unigentia patri plenum, gratia, et veritatis. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray, O God, our refuge and our strength. Look down in mercy upon thy people who cry out to thee, and by the intercession of the glorious, in Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Saint Joseph, her spouse, of thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all the saints, in mercy and goodness, hear our prayers for the conversion of sinners and for the liberty and exaltation of our Holy Mother, the Church, through the same Christ our Lord, Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits which prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, most sacred heart of Jesus, most sacred heart of Jesus, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Rejoice again, O 